Hello everybody, this is Tommy, and here I'm going to show you guys how to properly install the Doc2 mode on Grand Theft Auto. So let's get started. If you haven't got the mod downloaded already, simply go to our mod page and then press into the file section, click into the download and then press the red giant button right here, then it should do the job. In this case, I have already downloaded the auto installer as well as the zip archive. If you have downloaded our more from GTA Insights, then it will be zip archive properly because I think that's the only format to support to upload. Anyway, you also need to want to make sure that you have Grindsafe Auto San Andreas installed onto your computer. Mm, clean, no other mods. Also, version 1.0 or version 1.1, not Steam version. If you have the Steam version, please go to this website, this topic from GT forums. And for the instructions to proper uninstall, uh, sorry, downgrade your GTA San and just back to version 1.0. The link will be in description, by the way, as well as the more download link. Okay. So I'm going to go through the auto installer first. Double click, and then it should pop up a language selection dialog. Here I'm going to go with English, press OK, and then press I accept the agreement because I don't think you'll read it anyway. Click Next. Uh, please make sure that you select the correct password again. For me, it is on my desktop, as you can see. So here I'm going to go to my desktop and press OK. Uh, Make sure the name is correct, everything's good. Click next. Yes, create a start menu folder. I don't really see the point of that, so I'm just going to go with no. Next, desktop shortcut. Yes, why not? Next, install. So, yeah. By the way, my first language is not English. So I hope you understand what I've been talking about. I'm actually kind of nervous. This is my first time to just review my, just sh show my voice in the public on YouTube. Well, uh, I should calm down. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so once you're finished install, click next. And you have the option to see the instructions. This is uh, very good because you better get half of the things before jumping right into the game. It has 24 pages, but it's all right if you know how to use the teleporters or shortcuts or sections, whatever you call it. Uh, so if, for example, if I want to know all the switches and toggles, I'll just click it and they will lead me right to the TARDIS console and here, I also highlighted all the buttons red, so it's pretty straightforward, I think. And all very detailed instructions with pictures. Yes, with pictures. Yes, you really don't want to go into the game without knowing where all the controls and the buttons are. Now, as you can see, we have already have the mod installed. If you go to your game folder, you can also see all the mod files. And then, if you want to uninstall the mod, if something wrong happened, just double click this uninstaller right here. And click yes. This is Chinese. Yes, my system is Chinese, but I tried to make it English. It never worked. Okay, so now it says it's successfully removed from your computer. We'll press OK. And here you can see the game is so back to default, uh, kind of. Also, 
you also have this backup folder. So if something's still wrong, then you can still have your original important game files back. Okay, now I just uninstalled the mode. So I can demonstrate how to use the zip archive to install the mode properly. First, you need this kind of zip software. You can use WinRAR, I think. That's what it's called. Anyway, unzip the mode from the zip file. Here we go. You can just delete now because it doesn't really matter anyway. Here you have the, all the mod files. Uh, just select all of them and uh, move all 25 files into. Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Mm, yes, move all the 25 files into your game. As a if it prompts whether you want to overwritten four files, then just press yes, overwrite. It'll, um, wait. Okay, there we go. Now the mod is installed again. Okay, so when the mod installed and you go to your game folder, you can find this folder name, the magician's notes. By the way, it's anyway it's just that all the readme files in all kind of formats that I prepared for you. Um, just doc Microsoft Word, and you can also actually just go straight to this link and see the exactly same thing online. Yeah, you can also download them here. So well, that's handy. Okay. Now you know that all the instructions are here, and all the backups are here. By the way, if you install the mode through the zip installation way, you better. You probably want to back up these four files just in case you know something can go wrong. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly enter the game just to double check if the mod is working. So fraps movie. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Five years on the East Coast. It's time to go. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Skip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to summon the TARDIS just to make sure. Shut up. Uh, leave me alone. You know what? <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, you work. Yes, the TARDIS. Take a seat. Just, just chilling. Yeah, pretty good. It's so working. Now I'm going to show you that if you go to the options and then um, mode configuration. Uh, click modifications and then you will see all the options that we have here for mode loader uh, yeah you click one of them then you can choose to enable or disable but you don't don't disable this folder if you do then the game probably will just crash everywhere 
So yeah, don't don't do that. Hmm. Okay. Now I'd like to show you another cool thing that we included for version four, and that is my Doctor Who more custom settings editor for the mod. You can find it from your game folder, and if you double click it, then you here you can change all the custom settings. You can also to get better understanding of what they are by pressing into the titles of each section and here you can change the camera shake values for each scenario also you can custom editing your memory banks like for instance giving a name of stuff once you did all that simply press save you also have the option to do search in memory banks as well as the sorting in memory banks in alphabetical order and if you regret some of your settings or the game crash because of the wrong type of values are inputted you can try to press the reset button and once you do it will reset everything back to default so yeah so it's that it's something that you can definitely try now i'm going to teach you for those who have lagging issues inside TARDIS interviews of what they can do basically uh, if you see what i just did you go to my custom settings editor again press into this uh, settings kind of button and once you do you also press it here in the left corner the extra button and there you can find the detail level in this case you can change the scale from 3 to 0 with 0 is very low obviously and 3 is a uh, maximum graphic I'm going to go with 0 once you do remember to save the game and then after that you should be able to see the result once you launch the game so here we go again Fraps release okay so there we go right I'm just going to quickly test it so I just set my graphic to zero detail so in this case it should be really shitty graphic all right moment of choose Uh, yeah, best graphic. You don't even get the handle of stairs. That, that's just nice. I, I, I love this game. I, I absolutely love this game. And the game should run pretty smooth because <laughs> that's all the details are gone. But if that's not enough, you can also go into the options. Uh, modification, modifications and uh, here we have find low texture quality you can enable it and it should be yeah all the texture should be pretty shit right now as you can see that monitor right here uh, yeah that should totally help to improve your performance of the game so yeah, there you go. That's a very cool feature that we put in to take care of the low PC end users. So yeah. So that is basically the end of the tutorial guys. If you enjoy our mod, you can give us a rating on our mod page. You can also choose to like our Facebook page where you can keep updated of our future progress. So, and if you have bugs to report or ideas to share or any other random stuff to talk about, you are welcome to join our official Discord channel. 
The link will be in the description. Once you click the invite link, you will be invited to our Discord. Uh, it's basically like a group chat. I don't know why there are 20 people who are never online. They are missing so much fun. Well, you can also report bugs and the Mavo will be help you to fix all the problems. Also, there is a list that Batch has been updating that for all the compatible mode with our Doctor Who mode. So yeah, why not? You can discuss more with all the other fans. It's actually pretty cool and fun. That's basically it. The end of the tutorial. I hope I didn't make too much grammar mistake in my sentence and I'll be very glad if this video helped you in any way. See you next time. Thank you.